What are food miles and are they important? Food miles are a really simplistic way to talk about a very complicated problem of food moving all over the world all the time. Um, the problem is food miles aren't, uh, they're not, um, you can't compare apples and oranges, right? So what are the food miles in us doing direct deliveries um, to seven hubs in Melbourne? just from here, so 100 kilometers, right? And But I drop off at seven different places in Melbourne. So that's, in, a, in the round trip, that's like uh, 250 Ks that will have driven that day. And that has other food miles behind it because it's got Stuart doing the grain run to Holgate. And then of course, whatever Holgate's energy inputs were on that grain and then, but do you take that away because it's a waste product and so, so it's a byproduct? You know, how do you measure food miles, I think is a really hard problem. On the other hand, there's an obvious logic. You know, if you're eating pork imported from Denmark from a, high, a resource-intensive system that was then transported in refrigerated transport, which is very high energy use, that's obviously like a lot of food miles, right, compared with what I just described in our system. So um, food miles are an important thing to consider in, your, in your, all your food choices, I think. Uh, and I, we try to buy, what food we do buy, we buy from as close to us as possible to reduce food miles. But I'm conscious that the petrol in everybody's car is another kind of energy input to get that food to and from us or to have run their tractors or whatever else is needing to go into producing the food. Um, it's not as simple as it came from Argentina, therefore it's worse. And so I guess one of the things I think about food miles too is um, a lot of condiments and things that don't require refrigeration have been part of the spice trade for you know over a thousand years. So those sort of things, to me, it frankly doesn't trouble me that they're going on very low energy use ships and moving in an unrefrigerated box across the world with a whole bunch of other goods. Um, take the same equation and turn that into frozen imported pork that requires not just refrigeration but freezing refrigeration. That's a lot of energy to keep that frozen. Plus there were the sheds with the fans and the water use and all the other things before to grow those pigs. That's, like a, that's a lot of food miles. That's bad food miles for me.